Yeah, right, guys. This is Game Boy Luke here, and welcome back to some more Pokémon X version or Let's Play Pokémon X and Y. Uh, in the previous episode, um, we went to the mansion place, didn't we? Of course we did. I just completely forgot where we went. Um, and you're probably wondering why we're back here, but that's because um, in the like I said in between episodes, I was I was catching Pokémon, and I was thinking to myself, and I was like. What is the point of me, like, going to catch all these Pokemon and stuff when I'm currently filling the Pokedex up in my other game? So, instead of, um, yeah, instead of, well, I, I, I did catch, like, seven or eight Pokemon, and I, I, I put, yeah, I put them all in my box, and I thought I just, I just gave up after that. But anyway, I'm going to go down here, because there is a TM down here, and there are a couple of Pokemon that I want to catch to get, uh, to add on to my team, but, I mean, I don't know... If we're going to encounter them or not, I actually saw this guy through the bushes a second ago. So, right, you are challenged by Backpacker Jerome. All right, Fletchling, show us what you got. Okay, Infahawk versus Fletchling. Um, easy XP. Yo, should really ch uh, train up Charmeleon a few levels. He's the one that's kind of slacking. Or behind. Um, I was actually th thinking about um, lock challenges the other day. Um, different kind of lock challenges. I've heard of stuff like Wonder Lock, which is a Wonder Trade Nuzlocke, where you catch six Pokemon and you just Wonder Trade them all off. And you just do your run with the Pokemon that you Wonder Traded. Uh, or received in the Wonder Trade, which is a pretty cool idea, actually. I don't know what you guys think of that, but uh, I, I kind of like that idea. Uh, other lock challenges I was thinking of were doing an, an, maybe an egg lock uh, and getting a lot of people to help out, like subscribers and friends, and getting them to um, maybe breed a load of eggs for me, get like two or three eggs from each subscriber or each friend. And get them all to send them to me to my my Y version, and then I'll catch all the po equivalent amount of put the Pokemon to my X. Uh, I'll catch all the Pokemon on my X version, trade them all over between the two versions, and then start an egg lock, which would be awesome. Uh, I'll just do a traditional Nuzlocke. Well, there's loads of different kinds of uh, challenges I could do. Loads of different kinds of things, and uh, I mean, obviously, I don't want to just keep playing Pokemon X over and over and over again, and different challenge over and over and over again, because I can imagine how boring boring that would get eventually. So I think what we'll do is I'll probably do a, lo a lock challenge after this, and then mix it up, throw something different out there, and then come back to it later on. So that's uh, that's one thing. Let's have a look. Let's switch to Charmeleon quick. Now, I was also thinking, like, uh, is there going to be, because uh, there's always been a third version to, when, when, they, when, when, po when like, Pokemon release a game, is always Red, Blue, then Yellow came out, then Gold, Silver, then Crystal, then Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, etc. But as soon as Black and White came out, everyone was just like, wow, we know what's coming out. It's going to be Grey version. Everyone's calling it Grey version. Um, and then they released... Pokemon Black and White 2, which is the first sequel to uh, an already made game. So like, there wasn't Red and Blue 2, it was Yellow, but it wasn't a sequel. It was uh, like, a, like a, an alternate version with extra features and stuff. The same as like Platinum is to Diamond, it, although the Platinum story is different. It was kind of different. Uh, and I kind of think they're going to do that again with X and Y. Uh, I don't think they'll do X and Y too, although it is possible. I mean, we don't know what their plans are, but an X and Y could, could X and Y two could happen. Um, but I don't know. I just can't see it. It doesn't seem. I don't know. I, I just I just think they're going to bring out a Z because of Zygarde. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen Zygarde, spoilers. Um, Zygarde is like the Z legendary. You know how Xerneas is the X legendary. Yveltal is the Y legendary. Um, and Zygarde's the Z legendary, and it makes sense because X, Y, and Z, uh, and they're, Nintendo are really clever because, like, this is the first handheld 3D Pokemon RPG, um, and, uh, they've used X, Y, and Z because they're all coordinates, um, 
That's that, that, that was the, the three coordinates we're making in a 3D game. Now, this is one of the Pokemon I actually want to catch, so we're going to use Ember on Esper. And burned it, that's awesome. I've got the perfect nickname for this, and it's a reference to one of my friends. Uh, and I hope she gets it. I'm not going to use Ember again, because I don't want to get a crit. Uh, let's use like, my Luxury Balls, because I love Luxury Balls, they're like my favourite Pokeball. I want to catch the rest of my team in these, because they look sick. Come on, Luxury Ball. Catch him one. I'm the best. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so my friend, uh, Coral, she has uh, a cat. Um, and this cat isn't an ordinary cat. It's... It, okay, it is kind of an ordinary cat, but it's, it's funny. It's, he's, he's awesome. He's the best cat I've ever met. And his name um, fuels that awesomeness. Uh, I'm gonna nickname this cat after uh, this Pokemon after that cat, and his that cat is actually called Phil. I mean, who who names their cat Phil? Coral names her cat Phil. It's the best name for a cat ever. I don't care what anyone says. Phil is the best name for a cat. Um, uh, it's just that's great. That's just funny. So we got Phil the Esper. <laughs> I kind of want to find a uh, hone edge as well because I want to I want to train up a hone edge. We got some mad type coverage going on here, so yeah. Although the only problem is they're probably all going to be physical attackers. Apart from Phil, uh, we got Charizard, uh, Charizard X, Dragon Fire, Fire Flying for Talon Flame, Fighting and Grass, uh, Chestnut, uh, Psychic type, Meow Stick, and then if we get uh, we have a ghost and steel type Pokemon, which would be another physical attacker. But I mean, this is a. Whatever, this is just like. A, uh, a, a, a general playthrough. We're gonna need a water type Pokemon anyway, so after we. Yeah, we can catch a uh, water type Pokemon as our sixth Pokemon, I guess. Another Oddish. Go away, bruh. You don't wanna talk to you, bruh. I'm trying to find someone else, yo. Okay. Grass, long grass. Let me find a Pokemon. And it is Sentret. Hey there. Okay. Let's just skip past you. But right now, on my Y version, I'm literally just building uh, a team ready to EV. Uh, yo, Hoonage. Uh, a team ready to battle on Wi-Fi and stuff. Uh, it's doing pretty well. Um, this thing's female, what the hell? Um, will an ember kill this thing? Let's find out. Can it withstand my ember? Shit, no it can't. <laughs> Whoops. I was actually expecting this, to, oh yeah, it's, oh, I don't know, I was expecting it to be able to take that, but, um, yeah, I was, I was saying, I've been EV training Pokemon on my Y version, getting ready to, oh, there's another one, um, to, to Wi-Fi battle, and I tell you what, it's probably the most rewarding thing ever. Um, because, uh, you, I, you know, I'm actually going to be really sexist here, and say I don't want a female hone edge, because I can't imagine a sword being a female. Is that bad? If my cat was female, I would have called it Philippa. And if, yeah, I don't know, I just, whatever. Let's just find another one. As I was saying, uh, EV training, blah, blah, blah. It's so rewarding because, um... When you uh, EV train, we didn't even have to EV train in the old game. Now that it's like X and Y is out, and it's a brand new game, you can't just use save editors and cheating devices to give you Pokemon that are EV trained and IV bred. You have to do all that stuff yourself now, which is the best thing ever, because it's so rewarding when you finally get that Pokemon, finally EV trained and get the IVs you wanted, get the moveset you wanted on it and you build a six Pokemon team and you're just like wow I actually spent time my own time building this team and it looks fucking awesome um yeah so that's what I've been doing I think I've got like oh fuck it it's another female I don't give a shit I've got like three of my uh, uh for four out of six members of my team uh, ready I've got a list of people that want to battle me so um yeah, that's basically what I've been doing, and I've spent, I've spent about a week trying to yeah, IV breed this one Pokemon, and then 
getting a female of it, and then breeding other IVs onto it, and I just, I, it was just, it was so hard to do. Let's use Vine Whip, wow, okay. I did nothing. Um, so yeah, let's use Vine Whip again. Oh wow, got a critical hit that time. And I'm really excited to, to, to finish the team, like, I'm really eager to just finish it and finally, uh, pit my team against other other people. Get in the luxury ball please. Two shakes. No. Oh, okay, we'll take that to red health then. I got a sword use tackle. Should have been scratch. Maybe. Or cut. Cut sounds more Oh shit, it's using sword stance. Fuck me, a freaking level eleven? Yeah, eleven has sword stance. Fuck's that all about? That's not gonna help you, bro. I'm gonna catch you in this luxury ball right now. Go, go, go! But no, I was like, bre he's just constantly breeding Pokemon, waiting for the 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 the, uh, the right IVs to come out. And I was really hoping I get a shiny because I've caught two shinies so far. I'm really lucky. I was hoping I was gonna get a um a third when I was IV breeding my Pokemon. That would've been crazy. Catch. Um, but yeah, I, I can see, I, I'm really, like, pleased with this game, though. Like, so pleased with the, the 3D-ness of it. I've, be, I've been waiting for a 3D normal Pokemon game for such a long time. After playing Pokemon XD and Colosseum and stuff. Let's call this thing Hyrule. Get the reference from Legend of Zelda, yo. Um, okay, let's just cut through this grass. Uh, I could, you could tell they've been. I, I can. I don't know about you guys, but I can actually see elements of Pokemon XD and Pokemon Colosseum in this game. Like very small elements, but you could tell that they were practicing in, with 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 XD and Colosseum when they made this game. Because I can, I can see so many elements from it. And I don't know about you guys, but when XD and Colosseum came out, as a kid, I was like gobsmacked. I was just like, what the fuck? This is the best game ever! Absolutely insane. As right, so we have five members of a team already, and we only have the first badge, like... Shit, we probably should... Yeah, shit. Right, it's a good job we have experience shit, that's all I'm saying. Uh, let's see what natures these guys got. It would be good if I had adamant and modest. Uh, this one is lax, which is terrible, but... Okay, and Esper is Quirky, which is a neutral nature, which is, yeah, neither bad or good. Uh, it's fine. The rest of our team has pretty good nature, has, have pretty good natures. But, yeah, whatever. That should be, we, this is, like, as I said, this is just a play run, a playthrough. So, it doesn't really matter what, what natures they have, it's just, yeah. Okay. Uh, I suppose what we should do now is move on to the next town. We spent enough time, uh, yeah, chilling out here. So, let's head this way. Casually roller skate down, and now that we have the poker flute, we can wake up this son of a bitch! Exclamation point! Oh, it's you too! Did you actually manage to borrow the poker flute? I didn't borrow it; I nicked it. But whatever. Blue cannon over the poker flute. Thanks. Well, you're the only one who can play it, right? Snorlax can be grumpy when it wakes up. It might attack. I'll play the flute right now. But are you ready to stop it? Yeah, go for it. Feels nice to have this flute in my hands again. All right. Well, I guess I'll start playing. Oh my god, this is Pokemon Red and Blue and Yellow all over again. Um, actually, it looks like they're closed. <laughs> Alright, no. Let's do this. Fight me, Snorlax. Shiny Snorlax, please. Lol, just kidding. One thing I have noticed in every single Pokemon game, Snorlax is led down. He is led down. And... In this game, he's not. He, he's like, he, over the time he... All over the generations of games, it looked like he finally. Oh, the fuck! This thing has lick! Shit. Um, that's not cool. Let's use Metal Sound. Wow, we just cancel each other out. Amnesia raises his de special defense. Metal Sound decreases his special defense. That was pointless. <laughs> uh, Fury Cutter, go! I'm just gonna use Amnesia again. Uh, you can keep using that, bro. I'm just gonna Fury Cutter you. It's gonna do nothing, but we're gonna keep using it. It's gonna get stronger. This thing's gonna be bulky as fuck. We're not even gonna be able to catch it. Go on, Fury Cutter. 
Show us what you got. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you try and tackle us. No, I don't think so. Alright, Fury Cut level 4. Alright, one more of those. We're going to kill it. Actually, I don't think... Oh, well, it's got a berry. Of course, it's got a berry. That's right. Fury Cut level 5. Bam, don't kill it. Oh my jeez, you see how I did nothing. I don't know, actually, I don't know how many, how many levels Fury Cut has, so I'm going to stop counting now, but it's on Red Life. Uh, let's see what Pokemon we have. We have three Great Balls, so I guess we can use one of them. However, I don't really feel that we're going to catch this thing. Yeah, shit. No, don't use Lick. That's super effective, you son of a bitch. Alright, Great Ball, go. Yes. One. Oh my god, what? I've also noticed that when your health hits red, it like ding-dongs for a couple of seconds and then it stops, so it's not entirely anno annoying anymore. Which I guess actually, actually I hadn't noticed that. I guess because, yeah. Right, um... I don't have any Pokemon that can re like paralyze this thing or anything, so... We're just going to keep throwing Pokeballs at it. I know Snorlax has a really low catch rate. So this might be hard. This is actually harder than it looks. I take that back. That was what the fuck. Just I was I threw two great balls and they didn't catch it. And then the great ball was like eh, and the poker was just like woo capture. And I forgot we actually gained experience for catching Pokemon. Phil's trying to learn light screen. That might be helpful. Let's give it a leer. Ta da. If it was learned light screen. Great. Marvelous. Fantastic. Okay. It's not it's, it's not satisfied until it unless it eats over 880 pounds of food every day. When it's done eating, it goes promptly to sleep. What a fat shit. <clears throat> it's almost seven foot tall as well. Jeez. Alright. Awesome, you caught Snorlax! Grr off. What the fuck? Oh, oof. Sorry. The only thing I can do with that poke flute is put it on display. But you've been display, but you've been playing since you were little, and the tone is lovely. It seems that like my fur fru also likes the sound of that flute, not as much as it likes my beautiful wonder through fireworks, of course. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Still, your playing sounded better back in the day. I'll let you take care of that flute, so be sure to practice more. It's like the fuck? He just is there something wrong with that guy? Was that supposed to be an attempt to patch things up? Well, whatever. All's well that ends well. I wonder that li what lies past where Snorlax is nice sleeping. Yeah, me too. Now stop. Oh shit, I just realised. I just tried to use the shortcut for my uh, Y version, which is my bike. Uh, so I just kind of confused myself and thought, why Why did my XP share turn off? Alright. Let's heal our Pokemon up. There we go. And I need to box Snorlax because... He's not a part of our team. Alright. So we've got Char Char uh, Charmeleon on our team for nostalgic value. But I think the rest of our team is going to be, um, Sir Kalos Pokemon, you know. Yeah, this is the Pokemon I caught from earlier. I actually managed to find a, uh, an, uh, an Abra, so. Alright. Okay, now that that's done, let's uh, progress. And now that Snorlax has been wake woken up and we've caught him and stuff, we can actually go past... So let's head this way. And why are you walking in front of me whilst I'm trying to freaking roller skate, man? What a dick. Alright, so here's the daycare. Hey, Tiano. Oh, hey, Rookie. Trev said that he wants to check out the Pokemon day uh, daycare. Come with us. Uh, I don't really want to. Ah, sure. This is a Pokemon daycare. Let us let take care of Pokemon for you here. Yes, indeed. You can leave up to two Pokemon here at once. I seem to remember something good here can happen if you leave two Pokemon here. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. That's right, sometimes we'll find a new addition, like an egg. If you carry the egg around, a Pokemon will emerge from it or hatch from it. Oh well, a Pokemon will come out? Maybe I'll leave some Pokemon here. Having the same Pokemon by the same moves might step my dance up. How about you, Rookie? Maybe I will. There aren't many Pokemon in I want to raise. I'll try it some other occasion. That's one way to look at it. Well, I'm gonna look for some Pokemon for my dance team. Hey, wait, Kirino, wait up! Oh, you guys, who's <laughs> chasing after each other and shit! Um, more grass! Well, hey, Tiana, I might join you. What can we find in here, bro? Let's walk like retards and just. Um, 
Look, just. Yeah, alright. You can find Volby in this grass. But we don't want Volby. Actually, I think if I run, try and run away from this thing, it's gonna be like, No, you can't run! You're too slow! Alright, let's return. Phil! I'll set aim for hook. I just realized how awesome the, all of my nicknames are in my Pokemon. We have Infahawk, Phil. Jeez, <laughs> I need to get out more. <laughs> Alright, let's just hop out this grass because we're not finding anything magic in here. And we'll just head on this way. Hey, Tiano, what are you doing, bro? A heat of battle against a traveling trainer should provide me with all the inspira inspiration I need. Sure, we'll go with that. Yeah, one other thing I want to talk about actually is the remakes or possible remakes of Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. If you haven't noticed, they do mention or or uh, what's the word? Refer to uh, they reference um, Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald a lot, like the Hoenn region in general. I think one person speaks about like a uh, hot springs in a town next to a Pokemon Center, which is obviously um, the uh, Laveridge Town, and they also, this one guy even says, like, uh, you should see my region, uh, it's got all sorts of awesome stuff, and then he stops, and he says, actually, uh, I'll let you figure out, uh, more, you, you'll see more of it soon enough, or something, and that led me to believe that maybe Nintendo are planning on showing the, um, uh, I, well, originally, I thought, that this guy who says you'll see more of my region was I meant that at some point they were going to release DLC or there was going to be at the end of the game you were going to be able to get on a boat and go to the Kanto region or choose a region and go to it. Not maybe not necessarily adding all the regions in, but maybe you could go to the Hoenn region or something from X and Y. But I kind of don't think that now, and I think that maybe that's some subtle advertising or subtle hint, a subtle like Easter egg hint sort of thing that. They're released. They're, they're working on Pokemon Emerald uh, for the 3DS, and if the if if the home region could be replayed in um, glorious like 3D, just like Pokemon at X and Y is, I would be the happiest kid on Earth right now. That would just be insane. Um, I just it would just look so cool. I mean, the, when the remake of Red came out and Fire Red came out, I was like, woo! Fire Red, fuck yeah! And then Hot Gold and Soul Silver, the remakes of Red, uh, Gold and Silver came out, Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Uh, I gen generally was, I was just fucking, I went crazy. Um, the fact that you could go back to the Kanto region on a DS game was super awesome. And I guess I'm kind of hoping for a remake of Ruby Sapphire and Emerald because that would be insane balls. Would be totes awesome. All right, we're just gonna use Ember on this Smeagol. Um, I've seen loads of f fan fan art for the game. Uh, if I'm honest with you, and it looks so promising. It looks so promising. It could possibly happen. I mean, what what's to say that they won't do it? They made remade red. They mean remade gold. You know, Hoenn is next in line. And with all these hints, I'm kind of. You know, I'm trying not to get my hopes up, but I'm failing at it, because I'm just like, Oh my god, remake of Emerald, oh my god! Uh, who knows when they'll release it either, I mean, they're, they're going to be super secretive about this. And they probably won't even, yeah, release anything until, like, next year. So I guess we'll never really know for a while, but it'll be great, it would be a great addition to the uh, 3DS. Alright, so we're going to try to learn Pursuit, and we're going to Tackle. Ta -da. And then pursuit. Sweet! Concrete level 20. Experience chef for the win! Try and learn pin missile, maybe not. Ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. All right, let's go. What's going on here? Hey, Tiano. Shav! <laughs> Shav! Do you know about this building? It's called the Battle Shadow, and it's famous for being a place where trainers gather to improve his skills. If I learn about more about Pokemon, I'm sure I'll be able to defeat Kalos' eight gym leaders. Cool, man. Let's check it out. Alright, let's 
Hey, isn't that the first gym leader? Oh, if it isn't Zav, what is your title in the nobility? What? You don't have a title? That's a surprise. No one could doubt a kid as strong as you should have one. See, your title at the Battle Chateau shows everyone just how strong you are. Only a handful of trainers can join these ranks of nobility and earn these titles. Lady Viola, are you acquainted with this young gentleman? Ah, I see you carry the bug badge, young sir. It appears that Lady Viola has recognised your ability as a trainer, then. It is a pleasure to meet you, my lord. My name is Hennessy. Might I ask your name? Sir Zav, a fine name. I will gladly recommend Zav. So, will you grant him a beginning title? He has the making of being a very strong trainer, so I'm sure you'll contribute to the battle shuttle. Of course, ma'am. If you're willing to speak for him, Lady Viola, then that is more than sufficient. And besides, I too sense extraordinary potential emanating from Sir Young Zav. Sir Young Zav, sorry. <laughs> Young Sir Zav. Sir Zav, you are hereby granted the title of a baron. Ha ha ha. Ha tips monocle. I am a baron now. Trainers and noble titles can do battle against other trainers with titles in the nobility here. I should really do that on my Y version, you know. I need to come back here. So yeah. We can't we should really wait till our team is pumped full of lead before we even chance of even think about coming in here. So let's back out real quick. And keep moving. And stop. There's a guy right here. We're not gonna fight you. We're gonna look out into the awesome graphical awesomeness of this game. I'm going to end this episode off here. I know we haven't really got very far because I went into that place and caught a couple of Pokemon first, but, you know, I can't really stretch for in the half an hour episodes. Although I might start doing some hour episodes because otherwise I'm going to be here for ages. But, yeah. Uh, I guess I'm going to end this episode off here, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ta-da!